Hey guys, it's Mark from North 7 Outdoors, and we're back with the Bass Pro Shop Clearance Unboxing. So, I want to ask this question before I jump into the unboxing, which is, how do you buy your fishing tackle? I was watching this guy on YouTube, and he discussed, he had paperwork and receipts for everything he spent on fishing that year. And then he just said they didn't buy fishing tackle. He said that when he needed tackle, he'd go to Bass Pro Shop. But he's very anal about everything else in his fishing uh, lifestyle, about keeping receipts and such. So it was very interesting that he didn't stockpile lures. And he just said, like, I store my fishing tackle at Bass Pro Shop. I'm like, okay, when have you ever gone to Bass Pro Shop and got everything that you wanted on sale? So here's a question to you. Am I right in buying stuff in bulk, ridiculously cheap, that I may or may not use? Most of the stuff I'm not going to buy if I'm not going to use it. But most of the stuff I'm just going to buy in bulk. I know it works. I know I'll use it eventually. I mean, it sh saves me that step from going from to Bass Pro Shop. Ah. It saves me that step from going to Bass Pro Shop paying full price. And that's my theory about when I buy fishing tackle. So here's a small box. I mean, let me know what you guys think about buying fishing tackle. Are you guys type of people that go to Bass Pro Shop and pay full price? Do you buy in bulk, uh, get the clearance stuff like me? Or like, what's your strategy going on here? Um, for example, all right, I'm back with a box from Amazon. So. For example, about how I buy fishing tackle, this is just a random order. And so is this. I wasn't planning on buying any of these things, but I asked myself, am I going to use something? And is it a really good sale? And if the answer is yes to both of those, I'll go out and buy it. So this is a random package from Amazon where I bought a Okuma Helios rod. It was a 7 foot medium heavy. And it was 75 bucks US, so it's like done. I'm not paying 175 or $180 at Tackle Warehouse. I'm paying $75, it's more than half off, it's brand new, lifetime warranty. Well, that was quite the ordeal, but as you can see, brand new Akuma Helios bait casting rod, 7 foot medium heavy, $75 on the US, Amazon, so check that out. If you want a nice decent rod, you'll want to pay a whole bunch of money for it. Hopefully the Akuma Helios lineup's pretty good, because I've bought in three for about 300 bucks US altogether. Not even. Well, maybe after tax, about 300 bucks I'm into them. So hopefully... The rods are good. So we'll get into the Bass Pro Shop package. And here we go. Okay, I'm just going to come up behind the camera here. It's easiest for me to film this way. Oh, wait, no. Don't open with a knife. Damn. How many rules? Alright. Let's take a look at it here. All right, does not give me a total. Anyways, we'll figure that out as we go. So here we go, this is the stuff I got. All of this stuff is on clearance more or less. Strike King Ocho, probably my favorite all round brand to throw. If you, if you open up this package here, you notice that Strike King Ocho is not circular. It is in fact sided. I think there's eight sides to it. Works really well, I've tried it on everything. Um, very good action they are durable all that good stuff all right this is probably something that i wouldn't normally buy it was regular 6.59 on for buck 48 i wanted to try it to be honest it's so cheap which is a, a 16 inch worm so that's something <laughs> i guess I'm going to use this for something this year. Remember, bass season in Canada doesn't open up till the third or fourth week in June, depending on where you live in Ontario. Well, some parts it's open all year round, but largely it's not open for another four months. All right. 
very excited to try these ones. These are finicky worms. Again, buck forty down from like four fifty a pack. Take a look at these. I'm not gonna go out and buy stuff that's on sale, but if something is uh is very very cheap, I'm gonna give it a try. Like I'm gonna give this a try for sure. Dollar forty a pack. I get uh, ten. Try that on a shaky head. I've actually started throwing more Bass Pro Shop lures last year at the end of it. I was very impressed with the stuff, so I'm excited to Okay, so this is a KVD Super Fry. Wow, looks like a giant centipede or millipede. Look at that thing. Sexy shad color, I'm assuming. Yep. Coffee scent. I'll be drop shotting that, or I'll be throwing it on a... Uh, Shaky head. All right, so we have another pack of finicky again. They're so cheap. Let's see, another pack of finicky, slightly different color. We have green neon pumpkin, and these were the other ones were magic red, black, red flake. All right, gotta get into these. Always the hardest part. Whew! Almost gave up there for a second. Okay, awesome. So these are going to work super well. I guess you could also wacky uh, rig these for sure. But I mainly bought them to specifically shaky head with. Alright, so this is the second pack of 16 inch snake or giant worm. So very excited. Not something I would ever go out and spend six fifty on, but I mean it was a buck fifty. Randomly came across these deals at Bass Pro Shop. A bunch of stuff was on clearance. I picked up a bunch of stuff that was on clearance. This is an aerator. This five dollars off. I think it's five bucks even American. Helps you keep the minnows that you catch alive for myself, anyways. This is something that uh, I did not need to get. I did get it. And again, like the 16 inch worms, I'm going to try to use them this year. Fruck yeah. Not quite a duck. Not quite a frog. Something in between. In green leopard color or. Whatever they want to call that. But we're going to call it Green Leopard because that's pretty much what it is. Alright, awesome. Very excited to try these. 7 inch ribbon tail worm. Thicker uh, profile file than the finicky. But you know, this is not a horrible color. I'm definitely going to throw this for sure. Don't be, uh... Oh, lots of garlic going on there for sure. Don't be intimidated by the length of the stuff. I mean, they'll curl up. You'd be surprised. What bass will try and go after? Another pack of those. Alright, so these are definitely for my first uh, tournament of the year, which is going to be dingy water, so I'm going to throw dark colors. Hopefully this works. This is their Okeechobee Craw color, so we got blue and then like a green pumpkin. Next we have, all right, so this is a slightly different pack. Green pumpkin violet, green pumpkin violet, green pumpkin violet. Okay, I guess I just got four packs of the same stuff. Yes, sir. All right, fair enough. Down 75% off, we can afford to. So here's another pack of green neon pumpkin. And last, we have, to say the least, some fishing line going on here. This is largely the example of how I buy fishing tackle, okay? So Bass Pro Shop, these run for $23.99 a piece, okay? I picked them up for $3.88. That's like 90% off or something silly like that. So that's how I buy fishing tackle. I mean, they're all 65 pound green braid. I would pref uh, prefer to throw yellow braid, but I've actually used this all last year for top water and it worked really well. So I would recommend this line. I wouldn't spend $24 on it. I wouldn't even spend 20 bucks on it. When I spend 15, that's borderline. But at 388, yeah, I don't know how many years of fishing line this is, but it will eventually be used at, if I add all these up together, it's like 28 bucks American. So basically seven packs for like 
four dollars more than I would go out to Bass Pro Shop and buy one pack at regular price. So that's pretty much how I buy fishing tackle. Okay, so final tally of everything was sixty-five dollars and forty-two cents American for all this good stuff. Um, if I paid everything at Bass Pro Shop full price, we're looking at just under two hundred and sixty dollars U.S. So. Uh, we saved about 75% off full retail price and that's probably why I go out and buy in bulk things that are on sale. If I'm being honest with myself, there's three things here that I probably would not go out and get unless they were so, uh, so cheap as they were, which would be the two 16 inch snakes or worms here and the fruck I mean the fruck was just look at it I mean you know lure company here is playing God so I probably wouldn't go out and buy that if I'm being honest with you but with myself but I would go out and buy braid you know I have bought this braid before on sale it's okay you know it's it held up well this year I went with Seagar Smackdown, probably a lot better for castability, but for what I need, the Bass Pro Shop Braid, 65 pound, in yellow, worked fine, so I imagine green will also work fine. Same thing with the golfer. I mean, is an $800 set of golf clubs going to make a mediocre golfer better? Probably not. A $400 set would probably do the job. And that's what I'm going to ask, you know, that's what you got to ask yourself too when you're fishing. Do you need the top of the line stuff? You know, top of the line stuff is nice, but you know, an eight hundred dollar combo isn't going to make you not backlash if you don't know what the hell you're doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know how you guys buy tackle. And uh, it turns out you can get a lot of fishing tackle for sixty five dollars US. I'm not sure what's coming up next on the channel. There's still about two feet of snow on the ground in February. Bass season opens up in about four months. So that's all right. Well, uh, that's probably it for unboxings for a while till the March uh, Bass Pro Shop Classic Sale. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and feel free to subscribe, leave a like, but uh, leave a comment because I am really curious to know what people, how people buy their fishing tackle. Because I don't know if this is the best method to go out and, you know, get seven spools of, of line, but I know I'm going to use them. It might take five years to use them all, but it, you know, there's no expiry date on braid, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, but take care, and thank you guys for watching. Bye.